Hey, what's up, boys? Uh, Slarge here, bringing you a new video. This video is going to be a different type of video. I haven't done um, a video like this before um, on my channel. Uh, we're going to do the all three of these uh, official reveal trailers and stuff. Um, they're going to be separate videos just to space out some content. Um, I uh, haven't reacted to them um, before, and I'm, I'm doing a little bit late. They've been out for a little bit, but... I wanted to play the beta first and then and watch them and then re give a f proper um, opinion on certain things in the game. And I I'll break it down and just give you my opinion on uh, what I think needs to be changed or my things I like, things I don't like. And uh, we'll, we'll see if the screen share works. Um, we're, I, I tried it a little bit ago and it was super laggy. So we'll see if this one works. Um, but uh if it is a little bit worse quality, I'm sorry. I um just stopping I'm trying. <laughs> but uh yeah, we'll share screen and we'll we'll get to watching it. I'm gonna turn down the quality to four eighty just because uh it prevents some lagging. Um NHL twenty three official reveal trailer. This is the first one uh that came out. It was like three weeks ago, so I'll try to pause it when I think uh, I need to break something down. All right, so that um, pick right there, he's going to get the puck, and while he has the puck, he's going to be, like, so much faster than all the D-men. If the person that has the, the camera view right now poke checks, they're going to be stuck in mud, and they won't be able to catch him. So it's like a free breakaway. The, the hitch right there, you see how they got bumped and you still like got a really good shot? The goalies don't react as well because of that animation right there. Like that animation of them getting bumped and shot, um, it's just like certain things in the game where like sometimes if a certain thing happens, a goalie won't react to it. Like a pass sometimes, a goalie can't react to the pass for some reason. Um this is another thing that they're a little bit worse at saving pucks when you're getting bumped and shooting. That's what I've noticed. And to activate it, you just flick up. Sometimes you flick up twice is what they do, but sometimes you only ha only have to flick up once and it automatically does it. Um, yeah. So, I'm just looking at it. This is cool how they had Z uh, Zegers in here and a couple of uh, NHL creators and stuff like that. Um, the What they said is um, there's going to be buildup on ice. Um, so, like, the more he, like, ice ices like that, skates like that, it's going to be on the ice. I wonder if it's going to eventually affect how fast people skate or if they fall over and stuff like that. Um, but it wasn't like that in the beta. Another one, but the, the almighty, oh, well, I don't know how that just lagged so bad, but there's Nasher. But, um, the, the main, a, a big, a big problem, um, that happened is, um, hold on. I got to put it on low quality again. We're going to, we're going to put it on, uh, 0. 0.5, uh, speed here, and we're going to watch the puck go through Jonathan Quick's glove. Okay. Get ready for it. Look at that. Right there. Right there. Oh, my God. It went right through his freaking glove. But, um, yeah, that was uh, a main thing that went on Twitter, and they fixed it afterwards. But it just is kind of funny how, like, no one saw that, and they, I don't know. Now, we'll go back to regular speed here. All right, so that one, that animation only happened once in my entire beta in 100 games. Um, The guy didn't score, but that's literally the Ovech goal where he falls and does it. It happens in the game. It, someone's going to score that, and it's going to be absurd. It just happened there. Um. That one, that animation happens more more likely, um, but 
it doesn't happen that often. The way that they uh showed this in their trailers it happening all the time, it never happened that much. The pass or the the shot. Maybe like once every ten games, maybe. But just my experience. Most people already showed the um certain little teasers and stuff, so I'm just gonna try to break down um more gameplay in my experience than other things. But some some things I'll address if I think it's worth it. But the cross platform matchmaking, if anyone doesn't understand it, in November we will NH uh in, in Eshel, World of Chell, six V six at least. Um I think Forbes will have it too. But you need to have six Xbox One S or X players playing against six PS5 players, and they'll be able to they could match each other. I think it might have to be a pin. I'm, I don't think you'll be able to search for each other, but this is just in November. They can play each other. That that's the cross platforming platform matchmaking. I don't think they'd announce Hut. Oh wait, no Hut rivals you can too in November, which is cool, but not champs. But yeah. It's it's a good addition. It's a good good step before twenty uh four. Um, what else? So the women in hot. I think that's a great addition. But um, the the this height and weight is a huge thing in hot, and I don't know how they're gonna they're, they're gonna have to boost Sarah Nurse's like speed way higher than everyone else is at the start of the game um and you're gonna have to maybe give her some like un unstoppable force or like traits or uh, x factors or um that like keep her on her feet compared to other people because someone who's like six five or something there's no way that she'll be able to like i don't know like get by that person or she's just gonna be hurt and on the ice a lot and that's just how it is um sometimes when you get certain small builds with that really high balance and certain traits they can't be bumped so maybe she'll be a cheat code we'll see that doesn't um that's just a fact obviously uh they don't have that in the this uh part of it the uh the the colors at the top i think it would be kind of cool just to have that um but it's just uh just effects um one thing that they did add is the rink um what's it called like cinematics and stuff like that all of them it, they look really good um i i saw all of the uh ones that they were displaying and it looks like really really good graphics um and then the the glow sticks in the crowd that's really cool too but that's just a, a small point. The this is going to be very, very hard to pull off. Um, Actually, no, it actually isn't. Someone said that the trait literally helps you like do it automatically. I lied. Um, it's not too tough, but um, I'm gonna try to attempt try to get the first one maybe. I don't think I can do it though. The the other people are grind it too much harder. But I'll try to be at least. I'll try to do it. You might be able to see that somewhere. But uh, that was the first one. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Um in the comments below and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that, it looks, it looks, it looks promising from that. It looks like too much of the desperation pass though, like falling down at last chance puck movement. I think that's over hyped. Um, and they worked on that way too much in my opinion. They should have been focusing on other things and more gameplay like, but it's a cool addition. Um, like in real life hockey, that don't, doesn't happen that much to like add it. But um, yeah, that's just initial thoughts. Um, I'll um give you some more info in other trailers and um maybe some more information about other things. I won't try to um repeat things. Sometimes I will on accident. But um, 
Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed videos like this, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. And um, I'm going to be starting to stream on Twitch too. Um, NHL 23, mostly I'm going to stream a couple NHL 22s. Maybe COD. I'm probably going to stream some COD too. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, go uh, follow me on Twitch too, Slarshi, uh YT. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get, we're going to be grinding a little bit harder in uh, NHL 23, hopefully to, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, grow from that and, uh, you know, just have fun. But uh, thank you guys for watching again. Sorry for rambling and uh, have a great day. Peace.